Hey guys, today is going to be another platform trap. This one's weighted with a 30 pound bucket of water. It's uh, for coons basically, something that'll take it completely off the ground and not have to worry about anything. All right. So here's how this works. You take two stakes, hammer them into the ground as deep as you can while it's still sticking out. Take a nice, firm, strong stick and tie it onto the stakes. I used fishing line just because it was laying around. And then you find another sturdy stick, preferably the same width and length as the top one, and you put it in the bottom. You do not tie it down to the stakes like you did to the top one. This little stick right here is the trigger. It's got a string going underneath this log and all the way up over a tree branch and back down to this bucket. So this stick down here is not tied to any stake. It's being completely held to the stake using tension from this stick. So here's how this works. Take a whole bunch of other sticks that you find just laying around, you know, decent sized twigs. You can uh, find whatever ones you like, really. It doesn't matter what size. The longer, the better, for the most part. But, I mean, everybody has their thing. I'm using about that many. All right, here we go. Um, you can do it without this, but I'm going to just because it increases my chances of catching it. Because what happens is, Coon's going to step on these sticks trying to get to the bait, which is going to be up here somewhere. And these sticks are going to push down this stick that's being held by tension. Causing this trigger to slip up like that and shoot up, making the bucket fall. And then the snare, which is back here, I haven't set that up yet. Or bring them right up, basically. However, coons are smart. They're gonna step in between the sticks. I'm not gonna lie to you. That will happen. It'll happen almost 100% of the time. If you do catch a coon this way, I mean, that's luck. So, this will help. You can use plywood too, but this is lighter than plywood, and this trigger is as sensitive as it can get. So, I'm going to use that. And then, take the snare. Alright, again, you want the snare, snaring wire, tied to the trigger, but you do not want the snaring wire under the stick that is tied to the, to the stakes. Otherwise, once it triggers, your animal is going to be stuck right here, in between the stick that's tied onto the stakes and the ground, and you want it to be in the air. So, make sure it goes above the stick. All right. All right, hang on. It's hard to do it one hand. Put this out here. You want some wire that's uh, it will take shape, because otherwise you're gonna be doing what I'm doing, and that is fiddling with it until it takes shape. You can also use little twigs and stuff to hold it together in shape. But you do you don't want a stick that's in the ground so deep that when you trigger it, it won't come off holding the stake in the ground. You don't want that, so. Alright. Oh, not yet. Almost. Found a stick around here. There we go. That should work. Now remember, when you're working on this, this is all really sensitive. If you put any amount of weight on this, you're going to have to reset the entire trap. Alright, so I'm taking a whole bunch of plywood along with this plastic roofing to put on the edges, forcing it to go straight this way because what happens is sometimes they'll come in from the side and they'll take the bait right off without even stepping on it obviously the coon can just climb over this but it will you know it'll edge it in to go this direction all right so here's how this works take the stick demonstrate animal comes walking in 
comes up to the bait, which is going to be right in here. Steps on it. And voila. Bucket fell. Perfectly hooked around. It's not going anywhere. If Unless it's heavier than a 30 pound bucket, then even then, <laughs> it's not going anywhere.